How's it going guys? My name is iAlien and today I'm back on another Identity 5 video. Today I will be showcasing some footage of a hacker I faced in Identity 5 just a couple of days ago. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so the hacker's name is Legacy. He's currently like top 15, top 20 in the Survivor leaderboard. And he usually he used to go by the alias of like M A U U Castro and he got banned then. And now he's back under a new alias and this is some hunter ranked. I'm currently like a top 20, top 15 hunter. So, I faced him before, and I didn't record it, and, I told, and there he goes right there, he plays the mind's eye. I didn't record it, but I told myself, if I face him again, and if I lose points because of him again, then I will post this on my YouTube channel, because I'm, I just got so mad that day when I had faced him, and I lost points, and I was having a bad day. And that happened. So as I will this time record the footage and post it on my YouTube channel. And here it is. So you can see right there. Not only the hacks he uses is most uh, mostly the invincible hack. So right here, nothing happens. Um, you can hit him. Nothing will happen. He also does seem to like teleport around or speed hack. Something like that. It's right there you just teleport it over to there and he can turn off these hacks at any time so try and make them seem legit or whatever he can turn them off see right there i hit him it was fine he's not a hacker the other one is so the only time i've noticed you can even hit him is when he's vaulting as the mind's eye ahead, he does have slow vaulting speed because i actually did get him the other day when I had faced him I put him in a chair because he was vaulting I just luckily got him with the Geisha dash but then they saved him and the thing is there's literally nothing I can do because I can, if I hit them before they save him he's he's going to get saved and now I can run to him nothing's going to happen if I let them save him and then try and hit him nothing's going to happen so it, it, there's nothing I can do against him so that's a bummer that there's really like nothing I can actually do to beat him. But basically he's one of the only hackers I have come across. He's the only hacker I've come across in the entire game is him. And I have heard about more hackers um, using other hacker using other programs. Um, I won't discuss what those programs are, but they are using other programs to cheat, but they just do it in a lot less. Like, they don't, they aren't so blatant with it like he is. Like how he just is invincible. They won't use that type of hack. They will just maybe do it to where they go through a wall and you just think it's lag. A lot of the time and sometimes it is but they just go through a wall and you think it's lag but it's actually them hacking or cheating um so yeah that that it's actually them cheating but you just figure oh it's just lag and stuff but he's the most notable hacker slash cheater in the game um, and I basically wanted to make this video just to raise awareness about him and to expose him for hacking. Uh, because I know the devs are going to do something about it. But what is the question? I've heard that hackers, when they do get banned, they only get a three day ban, which is horrible if you hack in my opinion i've never got that from developers i've always 
say it to myself. I know they won't do it because they want them to keep playing the game and keep spending money. But, but it's just like, come on. If someone's hacking, just perma ban them. Simple as that. Permanently ban them. And they ban their account. And then the second time you catch them, because then they'll just make a new account. The second time you catch them, then you just IP ban them. Just do that. And then IP ban them. And you could say, oh, well, they can use a VPN or whatever to kind of like change their IP address. But the thing is, it's not about completely stopping hackers because that's not going to happen. You can't just completely stop someone from doing something. But you're just trying to heavily deter them from doing it. So uh, most of them are just going to say, man, this is just too much work. I might as well go hack in another game. I might as well go cheat on another game. Um, and that's basically what you want to do. So the ban time isn't really long at all. And look at this right here when I hit her. Okay, I hit her with the dash, right? I'm thinking, oh, maybe the dash works. Maybe he did, maybe he's not invincible to that. And obviously you can see that doesn't work. But, I, no. He just turned off the hack. That time you could say I didn't hit her correctly even though I pretty sure I did but it happens again where I point blank hit her and nothing happens with the dash and I just go through it see like right there nothing happens just <laughs> it just nothing happens but yeah there's more hackers more cheaters in this game but it seems to be pretty good so far there's also some hunters, hunters, that have been hacking the game. Seems to be doing right there, pretty well so far. But and he literally just teleported. <laughs> I admit he doesn't get hit twice, and then he just teleports. Wow. But I'm just doing this because I don't want more hackers into this game. I don't want this to become. A, uh, I did lose seven rank points as you can see right there. I don't want this to become a PUBG Mobile just to name a game like a PUBG Mobile where it's just constant um, hackers in the high tiers and the community hates it. A lot of people quit the game and just other games like that, Rules of Survivor, just games where hackers ruin the experience. Um, and w one hacker it starts off with, oh, it's just one cheater. Oh, okay, now it's three. Okay, you still haven't banned them. Now it's ten. Okay, and then it just gets more and more, and then it gets publicly out there. And then with the small player base like this, the thing with other games, and like PUBG Mobile has a large player base, so even though there's a bunch of hackers, you can actually go matches without them. In a game like this with such a small player base, like last night, I literally faced the same team six times. Like six straight times in in ranked because it's such a small player base at the top. That if there's hackers, the hope you're going to face them every time. You're going to face hackers every time. And that's not going to be enjoyable for anyone. Um, I don't know why they cheat. I don't know what they get from it. But they must get some type of joy, some type of pride from cheating in a video game. I don't understand. I don't think I ever will understand why anyone would want to cheat in a video game. But, uh, yeah, hopefully Legacy gets banned. His name is Legacy. It used to be like hashtag YI Legacy to make it color by check today it's just legacy all caps i think the devs have released a statement saying that they would be investigating him i'm looking at him but it's just to raise awareness and i hope you enjoy the video if you did like the video please give me a like if you do want to see identity 5 content almost every day Hunter guides, survivor guides, tips and tricks, new updates, patch notes, character analysis, um, 
hacker videos, uh, just the list goes on and on, then please subscribe to the channel at like 173 subscribers right now. I'm about to hit 200 and hashtag road to 500 subscribers. And that'll be all for the video. Bye.